Good evening and welcome back to the Mindful Model Makers Workshop. Now tonight I'm going to show you something a little bit different um, because I've been an engineer in my life. Um, sometimes when you make big, bigger models you want some kind of a, a rivet detail. Um, I mean there are machines out there that you can do rivets with, people improvise by uh, making all sorts of things. A very kind of cheap way of doing it um, is by buying a um, spring-loaded center punch which a center punch is main um, job in life is to put an indentation normally in a piece of metal so that when you're drilling the drill sits down in because the actual center punch kind of goes down to a point so that when you put the drill in the drill sits in so when you've marked something out like I've marked out on here you will put the center punch in the middle of that make the center punch and because it goes down when you drill the drill will automatically pick up in that point that's the main purpose of a center punch a lot of them um, you just hit with a hammer and then you can get these spring-loaded ones. Now, this particular spring-loaded one I did get off of Amazon and you can adjust the tension. Inside there's a big spring so you can lessen it because obviously this comes very sharp. But what I've done is I've filed the point off and made it rounded because we want... To come through the other side not as a point because it will come initially it's a point and when I first started doing it on this piece of paper here it was coming through and you can actually see right through because it was making a hole because obviously it was pointed and that's what it needed to do now what I've done now I've rounded it off on the tip so that um, it will make a dome shape so as you can see now on this side of the card, um, this is a piece of one millimeter foam board. Um, I use a lot of foam board because it's very nice stuff to use. And you can see on these last four indentations that I've done here, they're pretty uniformed. They look a bit like rivet heads. So which is what I intend to do some of the early ones there you can see are, are kind of nearly breaking through and a bit pointed but here you can see that they're more rounded and that is because I've taken the point off of this so I'm just going to show you now so we'll go down to here and I'll pop it in so it might not be that accurate but push in click push in click and all you do is you push it down and then that is all you need to do and then when you turn it over so we're at this end now you will see four reasonably uniformed heads and they are your rivets so of course if you were making say the tank of a loco you can mark it all out and obviously take your time because obviously you've got nothing or you might be able to make something that you can have down as a straight edge so that you bring, um, so you have something taped down so that you, you draw this along so that it will always be. And then all you've got to do is make sure you accurately get it there and then click down like so. So you can make up your own ways of getting the center punch in line with where you want because you'll soon know if you've got a rivet out of, out of place because it looks terrible so yeah one develop the tool to make it but then two spend time on getting yourself to actually make the rivets so I think you'll agree if I can get that in focus which is always hard to do I don't know why it might be too close but uh that's it. These four here are the ones that I've just done. So, and uh, I think you'll find that um, they look uh, pretty reasonable um, rivet heads. They're not too pronounced, 
Um, the others are a bit more, and as you can see, as, as you go along there, you can see kind of a, a little darker. That's because it's kind of gone through. Whereas on this four that I've just done, or five actually, you'll see that um, they're much better. You can increase the power if you want them to be more um, deeper and bigger by winding that in. So inside there's the spring, and then that will put more pressure. So if we go back to where we were, and we start adding a few more, see if we can see the difference. It's going in with a bit more bang now. I mean, it might be, but that's what, you, what your desired effect will be. Let's see if we can see a difference on there now. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking a little bit bigger and a little bit more pronounced. But again, you will need to play until you get set what you want on there. So, yeah, that's it's really hard to get this into focus for me to see it at the same time. So, yeah, they're slightly more pronounced. But I think that's a very cheap, inexpensive way of making rivet detail on your model. So what I'm going to do, there will be a link um, to the Amazon where I bought this from in the description. And of course, it's entirely up to you what you do from there on in. But I think this is uh, a pretty good tool. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye now.